situation you'll often find yourself in around the green is that the lie that you're chipping from is not always dead flat. Just the nature of the green surrounds is quite often there slopey. And we can see a situation here where I'm a lot lower than the camera, my ball is way above me. You imagine your ball has rolled to the back of the green and it's rolled onto this upslope. And if I drop a ball here, you might see that, there you go, there's the downslope. So playing a ball from this lie is often quite tricky and it could change the way the ball comes out. Now I might often play this shot if it was from the flat with something like a 9-iron, a, nine -nine, a little bump and run shot with a 9-iron. Nine -nine. But if I play this 9-iron nine -nine now and I'm tilting forwards on the hill and my shoulders are level to the hill, when it comes out now, it's gonna come out very flat indeed and it might just chase on a little bit too far. So it rolls a bit too far and a bit too fast. So I might actually need to take a little bit more loft this occasion I've taken my lob wedge so it's got a bit more height and loft to it to counteract the hill. You can imagine if this hill is 10 degrees this way then the ball's probably going to come out 10 degrees lower than I would want it to so I can add a bit more loft to try and change the the dynamic of the shot that I'm going to hit. So it's important that when you make your setup here that you tilt your shoulders your spine angle perpendicular with the hill and you try and chase down the hill you don't really want to get caught on your back leg trying to scoop the ball up into the air which might instinctively feel the right thing to do to try and help it up but actually we want to set the body weight down the hill. I can play the ball a bit back in my stance as well, play my handle well ahead and then chip down. And you can see there the lob wedge has come out incredibly low, way lower than a lob wedge normally would do. But that was because the hill's making me chase it this way. I played the ball back in my stance and strike was the biggest priority. Get a good strike on it, that's nudged it forward and I can hold the putt, excuse me, I can hold the putt from there hopefully which allows me to get away with this idea that I landed the ball on the green, rolled it up the hill, so frustratingly I've missed the green, but if I can chip back down close and hold the putt, I can still make my par, rather than the first shot where I had my 9-9, which is my normal chipping shot, has rolled off the back of the green too far, tough two putt from there, and that would result in a bogey. So using a bit more loft when you're chipping off a downslope might save a few more pars on your scorecard.